Hello, sorry, got me. I was just, we were just chatting. I've just put something up on my, um, on my socials and uh, I've just put it to the soundtrack of uh, Friday I'm in Love by The Cure. What a tune that is. Oh, love what The Cure, love The Cure. Tune. Um, so, Friday I'm in Love. Anyway, welcome to Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby. Thank you for joining us this Friday. It's Friday. Whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, lots going on across the course of the day today. And actually, if you are someone who's into their soft craft, we've got not only a great show here, uh, but a great day tomorrow for you too, because we're celebrating, well, not only National Craft Month, but what is International Quilting Day. So this show, uh, Softer Side of Life, all about all things soft craft, with a brand new launch, just telling you. Uh, and also, uh, to celebrate that on the website, you'll find lots of deals right across our soft craft ranges. Um, just to also sort of tell you, tomorrow is very much soft craft focused as well. Uh, this guy's going to be here tomorrow, can you believe, on a Saturday? This guy? He's never in on a weekend anymore. What's going on there? Uh, so I'm in with the lovely Becky for uh, Play Your Crafts Right. We've then got a um, quilting craft along and a um, masterclass as well on all things multimedia. Does. So it's going to be a great weekend if you're into your soft, uh, soft craft or know somebody who is, uh, make sure you nudge them our way and go, oi! Get on over to Crafters TV. It's going to be awesome this weekend. Um, as I've said, it is time for uh, the softer side of life, our um, weekly softer side show or soft craft show. And here, not just me, but uh, the lovely, the one and only. Oh, by the way, we're wearing these funny bobbly <laughs> things because it's um, happy St. Patrick's Day, isn't it? Uh, it is the lovely Becky Swan, who looks Hello. a little bit like Minnie Mouse. I do look, I feel a little bit like Minnie Mouse. What did she say? No, she I was going to say boop, boop, be doo. That's Betty Boop. Betty Boop, yeah. She goes, boop, um, what does, oh, what Mickey. Does she, what does she I do? Oh, Mickey. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> or something. something like that. Yeah. I, I, it doesn't work quite so well with a, a bow, unfortunately. But yes, we've got loads for today. The lo new launch um, was really popular this morning, wasn't it? It was. And um, I, all I really want to do, to be to perfectly honest with you, is um, stroke and cuddle up with the velvet because it is so soft. Um, you said it's as soft as a bag of hamsters or something? It is, it's as soft as, uh, I don't know if a bag of hamsters. Yeah, I mean, you know, just, just a, a snuggle with a hamster. It's beautifully soft. Um, we had this in other colours um, late, I think it was at the very end of last year, um, some reds and some teals and um, blacks as well. But we've now got some new colours for you, but they are absolutely gorgeous. It's going to be a fantastic show. Um, even our Rachel has been uh, shopping during the break as well. She's just telling me on the socials. Um, loads of you getting in touch to sell her. Just looking at what Rachel shopped for, actually. It's a good old shop there, Rachel. Bought the Builder Block. I won't name it all. I'm not going to shop shame you. Uh, bought some Lucky Dips as well. Five Lucky Dips. We've got um, Soft Craft Lucky Dips for you as well. You can dip up to five times on those, by the way. If you hit the Shop the Day button, you'll see those. Uh, and some fabric as well. Brand new uh, Macau fabric coming up on the show for you as well. A uh, few of those will get cracking. Mary Pat's in saying, Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. Uh, from Montana, these Irish eyes are smiling uh, to have the softer side today. Uh, Rhonda is in saying, Good morning, Becky. Good morning, Ben. Good morning to the CTV crew. That is Johnny and Charlotte today. Hi. Hello. Uh, and all my lovely crafty peeps from around the world from a cold and cloudy Chicago area. Uh, Mariah's in from Hamburg. Uh, saying the cure, exclamation mark, heart, 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 heart. Mm, yeah, favourite cure song. Huh? What's your favourite cure song? Um, I like um, In Between in Between Days. Oh, yeah. That's a good song. Uh, Friday I'm in Love, I like. Yep. Um, Bit Love Cats. Oh, Love Cats. Yeah. Yeah. So wonderfully, 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 wonderfully pretty. Yeah, that's a good song. <laughs> It's not very cure though, is it? Not really. No. It's a good song though. Yeah, it's, it's a good. good. Song. Uh, the Soft Craft Along is going to have the first ever guest, says Rhonda. Yeah, and it's Rhonda. Are you Rhonda? Yeah, very exciting. Rhonda was on my last Craft Along. Oh really? I think, what's the last one I did Rhonda, wasn't it? Are you Rhonda? Are you following Rhonda? Or is Rhonda following me? Who knows? Uh, and hi to Mary Pat, who says, ooh, that velvet is super soft. I absolutely love it. Well, uh, get in touch, say hello. Let us know what you're up to today. Any questions, any comments, fire them our way. And also let us know what you're doing this Friday, this St. Patrick's Day. Um, are you celebrating? Are you going to be having a pint of the black stuff? 
And what else do you do on St. Patrick's Day? Uh, eat, I don't know. I mean, eat. I'm going to say, I'm going to be very um, stereotypical and say eat potatoes. And well, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what you do on St. Patrick's Day. Most people just go out and party, yeah. don't they? I've never done anything on St. Patrick's Day because it's my husband's birthday. Um, so it's all about him on his birthday. But not this year because I'm not there. Ah. So I, I am very sorry. But, um, you know, well, never mind. I have to make it up to him, take him out somewhere for a slap up meal for two yeah. somewhere to Nando's, probably. That's his favourite place to go. Is it? Yeah. Don't get me started on Nando's. Right, uh, let us... Uh, let story there. Let, no, really. <laughs> let us... Um, I'll tell you when we get going, because you'll find that we'll chat about lots of random stuff over the course of the next two hours. <laughs> cool, blimey, what did we talk about? What didn't we talk about in Wake Up Call this morning? Brand new multimedia dies. Um, if you are wanting to be able to create um, some amazing projects like uh, cube crossover bags and raindrop wristlets, then this is the set that you need to go for. Um, we'll have a good look at these um, over the course of the show. But two sets of dies you're going to be receiving here. Um, one to be able to create your really super cute um, raindrop wristlet, which I think a lot of people were chatting about. Um, super handy, particularly for um, things like weddings to maybe yeah. um, give to the bridesmaids or the flower girl, you know, for keeping um, your bits and bobs in. And the slightly bigger version, you have got your cube here as well. And again, you guys were waxing lyrical about the different things uh, that you were going to be putting in there. I actually like one of the um, best suggestions I thought was great was um, someone who said that you could fabricate it and then have uh, that bag or even the, even, uh, the little uh, raindrop wristlet as a little um, doggy bag to take all your sort of treats with you and the poop bags and stuff like that uh, when you're going on your walks. Very handy. I know uh, being a dog owner, you never have enough pockets for you, but these would be Perfect. So you've got all of the dies there to be able to create those. We then give you your hardware for the bags too. And the hardware, I don't know, like, do you want a quick look? Because I know we saw... Oh. You've just ripped the box apart. I haven't ripped the box apart. I've just opened <laughs> the thing up. The li look, we'll get in close on these. So you're getting... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Charlotte. She's got, oh, whoa, just a second. Um, so you're going to get um, a set of your lobster clasps. You're also going to get a set of your D-rings and you're also going to get these triangle uh, rings included as well. I want you to get up. It looks like the uh, front cover to uh, Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon. Oh, OK. Doesn't it? Because it that was a rainbow triangle, wasn't it? I don't know. Am I dreaming that? Yeah, it was. Thank you, Charlotte. How cool are these, though? They look amazing. They're lovely, aren't they? Are these really new nice. in the world of uh, hardware? They are, they are brand new, yeah. So we did um, some hardware with some D-rings and some lobster clasps for four in these colours and also in a rose gold. But it was the first time we've done this shape. Um, and, and no, in that, ro that rainbow colour is really popular. Immense. I'd make earrings out of those if I had... Um... They'd be very heavy earrings. They're quite heavy. <laughs> <laughs> They're great, though. I don't have pierced ears, though, so I won't. Um, so you get those all included. And alongside that, you're also going to get your fabric as well. Um, super soft, as Becky has already described for you. Um, you're going to get your uh, blueberry and also you're going to get your peacock. It is, uh, so you do just want to just give that a little stroke actually, um, your touch of velvet. How much do you get here? You get, um, I just say on the front, it says in the front, uh, you get uh, 50 by, I can't read that without my glasses, 160 centimetres. There we are. Um, but it's lovely, lovely fabric. Lovely die set, lovely that we give you all of your hardware to go with it as well. And lovely price today too, just to complement all of that. Should be £90, $112. Uh, you are going to be getting this if you're planning for just $55.97 or $68.64. Uh, now, as I've also mentioned, as it is International Quilting Day, we are bringing you a lucky dip. Uh, this is uh, your opportunity to have a bit of a uh, dip and a delve in our um, lucky dip. Only £2. $2 if you're platinum, obviously you're still getting your 20% off, so that's £1.60, $1.60. You can dip away, dip, 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 and then dip again. You can dip five times, in fact, without getting repetition. And um, if you dip more than five times, you can dip more than five times if you want to, uh, but we can't guarantee that if you do go maybe six, seven, eight, nine, ten times that you won't get duplicate items. So uh, do just bear that in mind. But nice to have these on. You know, if you don't have a hu huge budget, maybe uh, a, a nice way to pick something up today. And also, if you are perhaps spending just a, a little bit more. Maybe you're picking up the launch. Maybe you're taking advantage of the great deals that we've got on the, um, the builder blocks as well. And in the US, you're a little bit shy of that free shipping. And then these are the things that potentially are going to take you over into that threshold. A um, few quick hellos. Hi to Mariah. He says, corned beef and cabbage is popular today. And also green beer. 
green beer. Green beer. Is that just ordinary beer with green food colouring in it? Or is it green beer that's been made with something that's green? Maybe peas. <laughs> Pea beer. Uh, uh, I don't like peas. Do remember they did green Coca-Cola? Yes, that wasn't very popular, was it? No, it wasn't. Uh, very excited to see what Becky puts together in this show. Um, Anne says, I wonder if Ben will try sewing after seeing so much of it live and in person. Well, you know, that I have already sewed, Anne. Uh, you will know, well, you probably don't know. I had a, a machine, I've still got the machine actually at home that um, Bernie lent me. Um, and I made some stuff with Daisy. We made some little um, phone cases. Um, and I, um, I fixed my cricket trousers with them as well. Um, and then ended up trying to make my dog a neckerchief out of a pair of my boxer shorts and that failed. Um, <laughs> So. <laughs> that is really weird. You're absolutely right. That's the weirdest thing I've heard you say, actually. Mm. Sorry about that. I like to say some weird things. Shall we have a look at the bags we can make from this uh, collection? Yes, absolutely. So um, we've got um, we've got two different bags. Um, we've got the cube bag. <laughs> 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 Don't you love my? It's really scary, isn't it? But you've been possessed um, then for a second. It's, it's a kind of uh, this, this kind of voice I do when I'm doing games at home. Mm. The games, <laughs> uh, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the the cube one. Yep. I won't do it anymore in case I'm frightening <laughs> people or dogs. Um, and it, this one's been made with um, lots of structure in it, so it's got like a bosel in it, like a foam to create more structure. So even with quite a rigid bag, that's what you would put in it. Um, so it holds its form very um, definitely, whereas um, this. This one um, is a little bit more squishy, is mm. what I would call it. I mean, it's got some bits and pieces inside it to hold it up, but um, it's, it's a little bit more squishy. So these are your cube bags. Um, but the ones we're going to concentrate on today, or now, are our um, raindrop bags. Now this is um, one of the samples that we've got, and it looks really cool, doesn't it, having this, with this um, you know, very simple, it's a, it's a kind of wool, um, very a sort of thin tweed that we've got here mm. on the outside of the bag. But um, each panel has been appliqued and embroidered, and I think that makes a really lovely design, and it, it really sort of shows off that shape. Equally, we've got other ones using just ordinary cotton, and you can see how effective they look. Um, so if you were going to do making something like this for a you know, sort of bridesmaid or a flower girl or something like that, that would work really well. This one, again, using some ordinary cotton, um, fabrics a little bit Pretty. less of a structure to it, a little bit mm. more floppy. And then this final one made with some of that beautiful velvet that we've got on the show. Um, we've got your D-ring on the top and we've got that little lobster, lobster clasp, clasp on here. And yeah. um, then you've got this little strap that you can just hold on your, your wrist and then you can, you know, your little handbag. Your handbag or you can swing it around if that's what you want to do. Um, <laughs> and you can and you can fit, um, like you say, two two family backs of Maltesers in here or a cantaloupe melon would be my um <laughs> <laughs> i love that still the chocolate fruit ratio yeah, for what it, could go in your bag but i bet you most people because I, I when people say to me oh yeah that rims no nine foot by six foot i think i don't know what that is so someone no. if you say if that that's ben and craig lying there i could think okay that can work that out I, sometimes i need an actual proper visual cue, clue or cue to work out what things are. So I think fruit and fruit and chocolate, fruit and nuts, uh, fruit and chocolates are the way of uh, making out what we're going to be doing here. So you can see that. Um, so this is the one we're going to start um, off by um, doing today in this, on, in this show. Great. Um, just love um, Rachel's tip. You could put a zip on all sides of the raindrop bag and open it up like a flower. Oh, love yeah. That idea. That's a great idea. Um, Hayley Kay saying, I'm loving the new products today. I might have bought quite a few uh, items. Well, that is good news. Good news. Um, and the good thing, says Rosalind Russell, about the new bags is that the older bags are on sale in a bundle today. They are as well. Do hit the Shop the Day page on the website. You'll see all of the deals that we've got coming up in this show. Indeed, all the deals that we've got coming up later on as well uh, for that Totally Tiffany takeover at six o'clock tonight. The stock levels on that show are low, low, low. So if you see anything that you want, I would check it out now before the show starts, um, just in case those disappear. Um, and thank you, Rhonda, for your uh, St. Patrick's Day joke. You said, why shouldn't you iron a four-leaf clover? I don't know. Because you might press your luck. Oh. <laughs> oh it's a good one. It's a good that, one. That's one that you need to note down to put in the joke book for next year. The next year's joke book, yeah. yeah. Next year's joke book. Um, shall we have a look around the dive yeah, then? absolutely. So this is a raindrop wristlet that we've got here. Um, so in the pack, um, you will get your dies. Um, not on your, your metal plate like I've got here, um, but you're going to get four dies. Um, this is the this one here is to show 
the outside of the bag. Um, then you've also got this as your base for the bag. Um, then you've got these two here, and these are to make the little straps. So one's for the wrist strap, and one is for the little tab that goes over the top. And you'll notice, as before, these are half size dies. Um, so you just put these um, on the fold of your fabric to get that full shape that you need. Um, you need four of these um, outside um, do, you know, sort of um, raindrops and um, one of each of the other two that you've got here. Um, you need to cut them again out of your outside fabric and also your lining fabric as well. So we're going to do some on our outside fabric. Um, so I've already got some of my velvet and I've just cut it roughly to size. I'm just going to fold that over here. Now, if you want to use anything in here to give it more structure, like um, wadding or anything like that you just need to adhere the pieces together so your wadding or your batting would be adhered to your outer fabric so this piece of fabric but your um, interfacing would be adhered to your lining fabric just on that note and just asking becky what do you think makes the best support if you do want the bag to hold its shape have you got a recommendation bozel. it is bozel, bozel. Is it? yeah so i mean if you look at this one um, look how, I mean, there's nothing in here to hold this structure mm. and it's quite rigid. It's quite a big bag. Um, it's, it, if you're going to be using bosal, um, you need to make your bosal a little bit smaller than your actual bag. So I would cut it out um, using your dies. Um, if you, if you, you should be able to fit it through. We should cut fine. Um, so put, cut it out and then just cut. You want to cut like a scant quarter of an inch away from it because when you sew it together, you don't want to be sewing into the bosal you want to be sewing into the outer fabric and the lining fabric and just encapsulating that bosal in the middle so you just need to trim that um, alternatively you could use a thicker um, kind of wadding the one wadding that i've got here um, is your sort of normal um, kind of medium to lightweight um, wadding batting that you get you can use this um, that will give it a bit more structure okay um, than not having anything at all but if you're going to be using this um, and some interfacing it will be fairly structured but if you want something really rigid like this um, use some kind of foam in it excellent keep the questions coming in anything you want to fire uh, becky's way um, then feel free to ask um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just li lining up, just turn that around this way and I might be able to see it a little bit better. Um, against my, the fold of my fabric, I just want the very edge of this die to hang over and um, to make sure it cuts um, all the way. Um, and, and the same on this side. So you just need to spend a little bit of time just getting it in the right place and then use some of our low tack tape to secure it where you want it to be mm -hmm. now if you did find that you're just you know, not quite over the edge um, like I did when I did the one earlier on today in wake up call it doesn't matter you can just trim that little piece off yeah um, it's just it's just you know, sort of a few threads that are holding it together so there's that piece and I'm also going to use this little piece here so this is to make the little um, tab on the top of the bag so that makes this little piece here um, that you can see. Um, I'm going to use that because I might as well run it through the machine at the same time. So again, I've got my piece of velvet. I'm going to fold it in half. And again, I'm going to pop my die over the top with these little pieces just facing over the edge of that fold line. And that's going to ensure that we cut out our, our strip of fabric correctly. A little bit of time just getting it in the right place. A bit more tip. Thank you to Samantha who said you could fill the bags with sand and then Ben could do a part two gym video. <laughs> you could. You could, could absolutely use, do that. That would be quite good. You know, only just before you said that in, I was thinking, I mean, obviously they're bags, but you, you could actually fill them with something quite heavy and use them as like quite cute little, um, like door stops. Door stops, yeah. The door stops would be a good idea, yeah. definitely. And then fill them with um, rice and, um, or beans, barley, something like that, and some lavender. Um, you dance into the music, don't I? Like... So you get that you get that kind of crackling noise when you're cutting anything with lots of fibres, like felts or velvet. You get that kind of crackling noise, which mm. you wouldn't get get Very with satisfying. ordinary um, fabric. Can you just on the subject of die cutting? James is asking, will these dies uh, fit in the junior? Yep. Yes. I'm being told. Yep. Good news. Absolutely. So you can see here, I've just not quite got to the very edge. I'm just going to trim that um, there. It's not a problem like that. And that one's cut out perfectly because I spent a bit more time making sure that was in the right place, that one, clearly. Um, so you would need to cut um, four of these 
um, out of your outer fabric like this. So you see it makes this lovely teardrop. Oh, beautiful. Um, and four in your outer fabric, and then you cut the a base and then the strips for the little um, panels as well. Um, so it's just a question of putting everything together. Um, so once you've got all your bits and pieces, um, they'll look like this, and you've got your outer piece like that. These, the, this is the top of the bag, and then this forms the sort of section at the bottom. So if I show you here, you can see how that looks. Um, uh, okay. underneath you've got that kind of curved part um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, how to do the little bag tabs first of all and then I'm also going to show you how to do the rest of it with the lining fabric um, a little bit like I did before it's a little bit easier to show you with the lining fabric than it is with the velvet on the show and um, so I will find my get myself a bit of space and I'll get my little booklet. So you'll get the little booklet inside your um, pack and it shows you exactly how to put everything together. Um, it shows you how many of everything you need to cut and anything you need to purchase. And so for example, you need with all of, with both of these bags, you need a zip. Mm -hmm. um, so our zips on a roll are a perfect option for that. Um, and it will show you here how to put all, all those bits and pieces together, including all the measurements. Um, so it's, it's quite simple. Um, all you need to do is make sure that you've got um, a, a ruler or a, um, a I measuring know. tape um, yes. and a heat erasable pen because we're going to do a little bit of measuring on this. Um, one of the reasons I'm doing it on the lining fabric is it's a little bit easier for you to see where I'm putting the measurements rather than on the velvet. But you can see from the instruction manual here, they've obviously adhered some wadding onto the back of the velvet um, to make it a little bit simpler for people to see. That is a long tape measure, I'll just clock that. It is massive. <laughs> it's, a, it's the biggest <laughs> tape measure you will ever see. In the world. In the world. Ever. Pop, pop, perhaps not in the world. Perhaps not in the world. Um, so my little bits of velvet it those here Let's go back to here on my little booklet so what we want to do with our little piece of velvet we want to um, make the strap bag so we're going to fold it in half along the long edge and then into the center like this and then we want to top stitch all the way around yeah now as I said before, the velvet pops open. Um, so what I would suggest you, you might do um, is you might need to give this a bit of a, um, either a really sort of good press when you're putting it all together, um, or you might want to use um, some sort of stitching. You might want to do some hand stitching just to um, tack it all together before you stitch it. Mm -hmm. Just tidy up when you see. So you can see that just sort of pops open when I do that there. So just, you just need to be a little bit careful. Are with you that. ironing that on full heat as well, or is it quite a No, it's a little heat. bit lower than, mm -hmm. it, than it is. Uh, then it should be um, well, a little bit lower than the maximum. It's around about, I suppose, about two and a half. OK. Um, so I found I tried lots of different options with this. You can use tape. Um, you can get like a double sided quilters tape and that works really well. So you put that in there and then iron that on. You can use a little bit of bond web um, to hold everything together if you want to do that um, or a little bit of glue. But I found the best way for me when I was doing this at home is I just um, I, I ironed it like this and then I just did a quick running stitch all the way through um, to hold everything together. But I'm going to give it a whirl, just put a few pins in this and I'm just going to give this a whirl and stitch um, it through. Rachel's just asking, could you use that temporary glue that you use for English paper pieces? to hold it together. Um, I don't think it will hold. I did try it with some textile glue. Yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't, ha it wasn't as happy as I'd want it to be. Mm. You know, I want my velvet to be happy. Mm. Um, and it wasn't as ha happy as I wanted it to be. Um, it, it, all, all you want to do is just be able to hold everything together while you stitch it. Um, so it's not really um, that, that tricky for you to do. Um, it just tends to be a little bit, um, just a little bit fiddly. Yeah. Bit, just spend a little bit of time doing it. So I'm just going to stitch along these lines here. Fire those questions through if you want to uh, ask anything over the course of the show. Uh, whether you're watching on Facebook or indeed on YouTube. And as I said, do make sure you check the website because obviously we will bring you as many of the deals as we can um, over the course of this show. But there's lots of other great discounts on um, National Craft Month, which obviously runs until the end of the month. Two weeks today. 17th of March already. It's absolutely flown over this year, hasn't it? It it's totally has. Flown but over. I think that's. I always think it's an age thing. As I get older, yeah. I go, oh, you know, oh, the days just zoom by. Mm. You know, and I'm at the point now. Now that my children have both finished school, I think, oh, they're on holiday again. All these children. <laughs> um, they all, all seems to be like a holiday. I feel. I feel like I'm. Who was that moany old man? That we used to be on the television. Victor Maldrew. Yeah, I, feel I like don't him. believe it. <laughs> I think as a kid, like the the terms used to just drag, didn't they? But they like did. now that you say as a parent, that they, they're yeah. not long enough, are they? 
<laughs> exactly. Before you know it, they're back on holiday with you again for weeks on end. That's exactly how it is. Yeah. So we've done that little tab here. So we're going to put that to one side because we're just going to start, um, we're going to get the rest of the, the bag together. But that creates this little tab here. Um, so when we've stitched these pieces, these panels together, uh, we want to pop that in before we finish um, the outside part. And that's going to call, then we just need to put the D-ring on that. And then um, you do exactly the same kind of thing with the strap here. So exactly the same format of pu putting it together. And as I say, just give it a, um, you know, just, just sort of be, be, be gentle with it when you're putting it together. Maybe put a little bit of glue and some of that quilter's tape is quite useful as well. Um, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go on to the lining fabric. Um, so I'll show you how to put that together. So th this is our lining fabric. So this is exactly the same way as we would put together um, the outside panels as well. Right. So it's similar in the, old, the other one in that we, put, we insert the zip into the outer piece of the bag um, and we then hand stitch um, after we finish the lining, we hand stitch the lining into the zip afterwards rather than putting them all together in one go. Um, so we're going to be, first of all, we want to measure down here and we want to stitch from um, three quarters of an inch down here down to, and then have a, a gap of six inches and then we're going to stitch um, three quarters of an inch down here and that is going to create that zip opening um, which is what we've done on the um, velvet piece as well. Just on the velvet, Sarah's asking, um, does it matter about the direction of the material and how it should be cut? That's a um, good question. No, actually, it's... Um, just finding myself a pen. Actually, it's very... Because it's, it's, not, um, it's not a traditional velvet. So if I grab a piece to show you the back of it, a traditional velvet, you would want to, you know, like an old-fashioned velvet, would be quite forgiving. This has got quite a bit of stretch to it. And so it's not directional mm. at all. You don't need to worry about ironing it on a special um, ironing board. You used to have an ironing board um, that was specifically for velvet to stop you. Otherwise, you end up losing all that plushiness. It just flattens it. Yeah. Um, this doesn't have that. It's, been, it's a sort of like a new manufactured type of velvet. Um, so you've got a bit of stretch in here. Not loads. I wouldn't call it a stretch velvet, um, but you've definitely got more. It's almost like a, a woven cotton back to it mm. rather than your traditional velvet. Okay. And it doesn't have... With traditional velvet, you could press it with your finger and you could feel almost like those little hairs sticking up. You don't have that with this. You get that sheen that you get with velvet, but it, it, it's a bit squashier. That's, a, that's not really a term, but it's no, not, I don't mean. it hasn't got a, that kind of um, that, that, that hairiness, the thickness that you get with um, a traditional kinds of velvet. A bit more of a... I know, yeah, I, know, I know what you mean. It's hard to describe. It is it? really hard to describe. Mm. Um, it's like it's what I imagine... Velvet, you know, velvet had been manufactured to be better. This is what it is. Yeah. It's velvet 101. Velvet, but called. better. Yeah. 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 I sound I like I can't I'm, believe it's not velvet. I can't believe <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Oh, I'm, I'm doing 20 centimetres here. That would never work. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> right. Um, so I want to go down 75, um, 70, three quarters of an inch down to here. So I want to stitch from this point up here. Um, down to here, I'll make that point. So I'm going to stitch from there to there, and then I want six inches. So that is here, and I want three quarters of an inch down to here. So I'm just going to stitch that two pieces like that. So we're going to leave this gap here, and this is where we would be inserting the zip. So when we come to put this together, um, we will we'll fold this um, area out so we can put a zip in there now. Sorry, I'm just going to have to have a quick cough and a, a glass right. of water. Give me two seconds. Uh, whilst you do, 25% of the stock has gone. Um, it's the brand new multimedia dies and, and obviously we're just working with one set currently but you do get the two sets of dies so you can create your uh, your bigger um, cube crossover bags and you can also create those uh, raindrop wristlets as well uh, with your velvet um, which is in the blueberry and also in your uh, peacocks gorgeous gorgeous uh, colors and it just feels absolutely divine and then of course all of the amazing hardware that you get with that too uh, rainbow color I think you're gonna absolutely love but you get it in the um, the triangles also, also the D rings and the uh, little lobster clasps too are you all right over there <laughs> sorry about that good news <laughs> right we're gonna stitch along here and down here now it's always a way isn't it when you you need to do something really important or you need to um, <laughs> be quiet so you start sneezing or coughing Uh, Tina's got in touch, says that I love it when there's a bit of sewing involved in crafts. 
Love a bit of sewing. You should uh, join us every uh, it's every other Friday, isn't it? Softer, yeah. uh, softer side now. But if you are missing your soft craft fix tomorrow, all day. Do you happen to know, by the way, because it's such a while since it's on a Saturday. Yeah. Have you had the heads up as to what the game's going to be? No, I don't. Tomorrow? And honestly, last week was so funny. What was it? It was, where's Craig? Like, where's Wally? <laughs> it was so funny. It was hilarious. What do you, honestly, what do you mean it's where's Craig? What, they'd hidden him? So, had little pictures of Craig hidden and you had to identify where he was. It was just so funny. There was one... <laughs> you have to try and find it. There was, there's one... Um, with him um, snuggled up like a little teddy bear with John on the sofa in the green room. It was absolutely hilarious. But how couldn't you find him if he was... Well, you could, you could find him on that one, but some of them were really hard. So the Craig was very small in places. Uh. Um, so he was sort of like hiding behind things. Um, it, was, it was very funny. What, very... then you just had to say... Where you had to say, oh, yeah, he's, oh, he's in a plant right pot or... or something like that. Uh. Um, but you only had five seconds to find him. Um, it was very funny. Who else played that? Let us know in the comments. Debbie, you, it was De or, De or Debbie played. Yeah. Debbie Fisher. Debbie Fisher. Who yeah. won? I did. Did you? Yes. 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 I like to win. Me too. Right. I think it's the first time you and I have done playing yeah, the craft site, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it together? is definitely. I I do like to win though. I've I, got about a 70-30 win if I ratio. Win. Sorry. I've got about a 70-30 win ratio. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Um, I tend tend to lose when I play against Debbie Robinson, who lulls you into a false sense of security, <laughs> saying that she's, she's rubbish at everything and she's not competitive, and she turns out to be very competitive and not rubbish at everything. So I did, one, um, did play a crosswalk once with Lily, and Lily is, um, uh, you know, she does the same thing. She th you think, oh, you know, she's, she says, oh, I'm not going to be very good at this, and she absolutely thrashed me. What was it on? If it, it was, was to do with product, then... No, it was, it was about... Um, it was questions from... Um, children's sort of school age um, questions oh. and they were different subjects they were really hard they were really hard um, so yeah, I didn't do very well on makes you one. feel a bit dumb that doesn't it, it when does, you can't totally. answer like primary school questions but then there were those <laughs> what those there was like pro programs you know are you cleverer than a, a 10, oh, year, ten old? year old yeah um, and actually you know you there, there are things that you just don't remember from school no um, but as you sort of grow up you sort of remember what they all are but um, yeah when you're a child you don't really remember um, well, you do remember because you just learnt it, but you know, you, you're not going to remember now. In one ear out the other. Exactly. Who are you? What? What? Where am I? <laughs> um, so what I've done here, so I've just folded out uh, this little bit here because this is the bit I want to stitch along with my zip. Um, so I'm going to do the same things with the, out the other panels, um, but I'm going to stitch basically from the outside down to um, se seven and a half inches down from the top point down to here, and we're just going to leave a little bit of a gap. So I've already marked that off here. I'm just going to check that is seven and a half inches. Do, 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 do. Yeah, seven and a half. So I'm going to stitch um, down here um, and then all down to this point here. Um, I think. You just check again. Do you always have that tape measure with you? Uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do, but actually, not for much longer because um, I, I, have, I have a lady making me, which is a, one, which is a bracelet. Um, she's making it at the moment, um, but it's not. Well, a bracelet tape ready. measure? Yeah. What, so that you can just like go. So I could just unclip it and then it's a tape measure and it'll, oh, be, a, it'll be that big. Clever. And a panini maker. <laughs> and a panini maker in one go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All in one go. That's very um, clever. Yeah, but it's, it, it was due to be finished um, uh, last month and it's not quite ready yet. Um, so it should, be, it should be ready soon. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking forward to that. And it's all in corporate colours. Oh, nice one. Yeah. That's very... Um, all I can think of now when you said that is like Batman. No, he has like his tool belt with all the different things his on. His utility belt. Yeah, just yeah. like, well, you've got a bracelet that becomes yeah. a tape measure. Yeah. Like, you know. yeah, yeah. well, you know, you need to have these um, sort of extra things. Yeah, you do. Yeah, exactly. Right, um, I'd, already, I'd already stitched part of that for something else, so I'm going to mark that here. Seven and a half. Down to here. OK, so there is a little bit of measuring, more so perhaps than normal, but you're, you're stitching um, sort of curves, which always makes it a little bit more tricky, so you're stitching little bits and pieces. Um, so I'm just going to stitch around here. Again, I'm using my quarter of an inch seam allowance around here. Okay. There we go. Just this one here. Okay. 
and we've done that little piece as well. And then the next thing we need to do is put these two pieces together. Um, so again, if flicking through here, you can see we need to sit, put the panels together. Again, we're doing the seven and a half inches, um, just like we did before. So we want to sew all of these here, like that, from the point, from the top point to seven and a half inches, and the same down here. And so you're left with um, what is effectively almost a bit like a flower, yeah. but it will have a gap in here for that's where the zip is. And then we're going to put the bag um, base um, on there as well. So I'll put these together now. So whilst you're doing that too, um, I am I am listening to your every word, but I'm are also. You, are you? Are you really? And I am by multitasking and just having a. Your mail. Well. Your mail. They're not very good at multitasking. Oh, that's no, I'm a, sorry, that it's a true. Sweeping generalisation. I'm, I'm sorry. In my experience, and I've got vast experience of, you know, being with people that are useless at like multitasking. How um, dare men, you? men don't multitask as well as women. I'm afraid. I'm sorry. I, well, I do. Mm. I'm listening to everything that you're mm. saying, and I'm also, as I was about to say, was uh, just having a look at the um, deals on the website for mm. um, National Quilting Day. There's up to seventy percent off, and there's loads of fabric, wow. loads of tools. There's, I see the thread, threaders fabric cutter, fifteen percent off. There's uh, rotary cutters. There's the mitre tool. We've got rulers on there. Uh, we've got um, quilting clips. There's tons. Scissors. We've got all the uh, feet for your sewing machines. I mean, there's tons on there with up to uh, seventy percent off. But it looks. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I didn't realise. I was sorry. Was I leaning? Uh, it, lo it looks like, like the majority of what we have in stock as far as uh, sewing is concerned is at least with a 15% savings. So do have a little bit of a look. And it's actually International Quilting Day um, tomorrow, hence why we're having all of those special shows with a special guest, guest on the craft along, Rhonda, who says, Becky, are you as nervous to have a guest tomorrow as the guest is right now? Oh, Rhonda, don't be nervous. Um, I'm really nervous that it's going to take a little bit longer than the... Um, the um, craft along that we planned. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be fine. Well, as in um, longer than two hours? Yeah, it shouldn't be long. It sh well, it well, we could be. do three hours in the afternoon and then just do an hour for the last show. Uh, can we do that? I, I don't know. Yeah. It's Saturday. We can do what we want. We can't <laughs> everyone, everyone else is out drinking wine. Exactly. Um, I, no, I don't think. I think we'll be fine. I mean, it, it, I'm sure it'll be good. What I try to do in the craft along is use um, sort of lots of different techniques, mm. um, so people can. So, you, were you going to be using the um, uh, builder block? Because I think actually, of all the things that we sell, that is like the the, the bee's knees as far as I'm concerned. So I think it is incredible. Mm. Um, and I think if you, you're going to get started on doing any kind of quilting or sewing, that is the thing for you to have. But I'm also going to be doing some um, applique on there as well. So we can do some like traditional um, quilting and patchwork, and also a little bit of um, uh, other bits and pieces as well. So I, I think we're going to be all right. Is it your second ever soft craft along? It is, yeah. Um, so first time I've had someone. Um, crafting along with me okay. I could I it's just over there my craft along so we can show that a bit later if you want Ooh. <laughs> what the cushion yeah can I go and get it yeah <laughs> just <laughs> Johnny <laughs> he's going oh, go and get it then <gasps> he's made a big fuss about it oh um, what's in here chocolate <laughs> what do you mean what's in there it's a cushion no but it's really squishy it's a, it's a cushion pad it's a squishy cushion pad. Oh, that's the nicest cushion. I Sorry, know. I'm coming back. <laughs> All right, Charlotte. This is the nicest squishy cushion. <laughs> yeah. Look how that comes back to life. Yeah. My cushions don't do that. Well, you need to change your cushion, cushion pads. That's what you need to do. So that's what we're going to be making tomorrow. So you've got four different panels, um, two with um, patchwork using the builder block. And we've got an envelope uh, at the back. Um, we're going to be using some of those um, applique um, dies that we've got. Um, Oh, Ben, you look so happy. I love it. Oh. I really like that. It's cosy. Is it's that going back home with you tomorrow after the craft along? Um, I, I think I might actually leave it at the house. Because we've only got really paltry cushions. My cushions in my house are really, really... What was the word you used? Paltry. Mine are really, really paltry. Are they? Mm. Are they really? Yeah. This would be a nice uh, <laughs> gift for Mother's Day as well, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, well, maybe... I've only got one cushion pad, so... Oh. Um, yeah. They have a cushion case, yeah, but not the yeah the pad. 
Yeah. Oh, I love it. Oh, Ben, I didn't. If, I, if only I knew that's all you needed, just a squishy cushion. A squishy cushion. Squishy cushion. Give me a squishy cushion <laughs> and some <laughs> fish sticks and eggs and I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Right, so we've stitched um, all of that round. So this is exactly what we would be doing if we were using the outer part, but we would have already inserted the um, zip in here as well. So we've created this, and now we want to create the bottom of it. Um, so we're using the little bottom here, and we're going to just find... I've got a little mark down here. We're going to put that here. We're going to pin that, and we're going to stitch around the outside like that. Um. Uh, Rhonda's up for a three-hour craft along, by the way, just oh, giving she? her a bit of time. Rhonda, having uh, worked with you on craft alongs before, I know you are a true pro and you will have no problemo um, crafting along with uh, with Becky. And obviously, no guillotines tomorrow, is there? So we're all right on that front. Why, was well. there a bit of a problem with the guillotines? We don't like to talk about that too much. No. We don't like to talk about that too much. Um, but it's going to be awesome. And by the way, thank you to Rachel, who says, um, if you want to uh, join in the craft along tomorrow, the product list is already up. Um, in the sewing group so do have a look we've been uh, very previous with that but it's nice isn't it um particularly you know a to have a guest which is brilliant but also yeah. b if you guys are crafting along with us as well to to show us your makes later on down the line absolutely it's always nice it's always nice to know that um you know people are sort of joining in and the, the things that we make people are you know sort of like keen to sort of carry on with mm. um now here this th i use this glue all the time i find it really useful i even used it to fix brent's um sweatshirt earlier on before we came, went live on there um what i'm doing here is i'm just using it as if i was going to be um stitching some patchwork with some curves on it so I'm putting tiny little bits of glue around the edge I found my midpoint um, on my curve and then I'm just going to glue these pieces together um, I find this is easier than using pins when you've got curves like this um, and I'm all about making things easy so just bit by bit I'm just easing those two pieces of fabric one with a that's concave and one that's convex yes that is right, I did check with you know, the teacher over there um, to stitch that together. So we've just um, glued that together. I'm going to do that with all of these sides before I stitch it. So again, I'm just going to find that midpoint. should have probably done this before I started doing this. But I find that midpoint and make a little mark. So I've just got a little finger press on there. And then do the same here. So again, a little finger press. Oh, I can use a pen, it might make it a bit easier. It just makes this a little bit simpler. Now this, this, this step, this idea of making things in half and then gluing them together, again, is not in the instructions. Yeah. Um, it's just being put together. I just find it a little bit easier doing it this way. Um, it's, it's entirely up to you what you find is the best way for you. Um, a little bit more glue in here. And we'll go around to those points. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing putting that glue there and then we're just pressing around to join up these areas these concave and convex curves down here and so it just holds it rather than having lots of pins um, it just holds everything together so when we come to stitch it should all work out just right just right she says fingers crossed keeping everything across i'm liking Rhonda. i always forget this Rhonda's just messaged again so she's going to use one of her hubbies over 100 hawaiian shirts for tomorrow for wow some of it. does he I, know about that is well, he wearing the question, it what we're doing uh, Rhonda, do let us know but i forgot that you're because we, we, we've chatted shirts before haven't we in hawaiian shirts particularly because i always say i like to wear a hawaiian shirt when the barbie comes out but yeah i forgot your husband's got loads of hawaiian shirts you might have to be careful because i bet you you know if he's a big lover of those guaranteed if you you know pinch one out of his wardrobe He's going to see that it's gone, isn't he? I am. Um, there was a company, I can't think who they're called, but they do Hawaiian shirts. And I, I'm not built for Hawaiian shirts, but I wanted to get one because they've got Star Wars Hawaiian shirts. So they've got like, um, <coughs> I've got a real frog in my throat today. <coughs> because we were talking about them earlier on, that's why. Yeah, toad in yeah. a bag, frog in the throat. Um, <laughs> You're not hop off set and get a glass of water. <laughs> huh? <laughs> do you want to hop off set and get a glass of water? <laughs> uh, um, I might have to in a minute. Okay. Um, they had like, um, so you know like you've got um uh, hawaiian shirts and they've got like a, a scene on them right. and they've got like the scene of um in tantooines where you've got the, the the sort of um skyline with all of the the buildings on it and so like you know the skywalker building and things like that and i was quite tempted to buy one 
Um, but I, um, I'm not really built for um, Hawaiian shirts, but I'm quite tempted. I quite like that idea. Love a Hawaiian shirt. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't think they suit me. Uh, how do you know? I mean, well, you're rocking like a bright, nice bright colour today, aren't you? So, I am. You know, yeah. yeah you, I think if you've got like a slightly... Like, like Johnny said, you could get like an oversized one and you could wear it as like a little, you know, thanks, beach Thanks, thing. Johnny. No, no, no. What he means is, oh dear, Johnny, here we go. No, but you know, like, because uh, Laura does yeah, that. Yeah, She'll yeah. buy like an oversized <laughs> shirt for the beach. Yeah. And then she wears it as like a, what do you call it? Like a... A cover-up. Yeah, but what's it called? It's got a name. It's not a sarong, is it? Like, what's um... sarong with that? <laughs> ah, hey! <laughs> Becky, that is brilliant. A like a caftan. A, or a craftan. Craft hand. Yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> what did you say, Charlotte? So <laughs> ben needs no encouragement, does he? I don't. No. To be honest, I know Charlotte always moans um, when I tell her, but she loves it really. No, of course she, she does. Wouldn't, she wouldn't have me any other way. Yeah. Imagine if I was, you know, I didn't tell the bad dad jokes. She'd, she'd think there's something wrong with me. If I was dead serious all the time, Charlotte. We'd all hate that, wouldn't we? We don't. We don't want we? Ben to be serious. We want Ben to be fun. Be ben honest. equals fun. Yeah. It's a fun house, a whole lot so of fun. Prize is to be won. It's, it's a, a really crazy show where anything goes. Anything goes. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great show. I always wanted to get on that. Me too. I would love to have gone on that. Do you know what I, do I always wanted to do? Um, obviously, get in the fun house at the end and search for the prizes, but it was always the go karts that I wanted go to be oh, on. Okay. I wanted to go around and collect the tokens. Yeah, and they were always yeah. really slow, weren't they? They're always slow. And yeah. always, like Johnny says, don't go in the, um, the tube with the balloons in. You're just asking for trouble, trying to get through that. You know, just, you're just asking for trouble. It was a great show. They should bring that back. Yeah, from, from about 1989, <laughs> yeah. It was a great show, Charlotte. They should do Adult Fun House. That would be... <laughs> <laughs> that would be fun. I'm sure it would. It yeah. would. <laughs> <coughs> there was um <laughs> it's a, can you, you can have a sleepover in the soft play yeah at darlington do you know what i was gonna no. say where i used to live in torquay there was a thing called um the, it was called i think it was called the rainbow Rain, rainbow factory or something no it's called the rainbow factory and so the so the kids would obviously go in there you know during the day and most days of the week and there's ball pools and slides and all that kind of stuff but on a thursday night they'd have an adult night where adults could uh, take over the the rainbow factory it would have like your beer and your wine and whatever you fancy and go on the slides on the go-karts in the ball pool and whatnot yeah. oh i'm sorry those ball pits were revolting when children are in them oh yeah you know you don't if you lose a sock in there you're never going to find it again are you? no no no, you don't want to go ferreting around to try and no. find it, do you, to be honest? No, definitely not. Um, <laughs> Barbara R. Barbara R. has just asked, what type of glue was Becky using just then? This is um, textile glue, which should be available on the website. So okay. this doesn't gum up your machine. I always use it if I'm sewing curves. Um, Leanne was using it a little while ago. She fixed the um, zip that went on her dog crate. Ah. Um, it's really good. I fixed... Um, so... Uh, Brent had a sweatshirt and some of the, le the lettering had come off. I used that to fix that earlier on today. Uh, it's, it's really great. If you've got, if, um, you know, you're, you should have it in your craft bag is just yeah. all I'm saying. Absolutely have it. It's great. Did, did, really does there a, a lot of the team come to you? Oh, he is there. Yes. Look at that, as if by magic. We were literally we were just talking, talking about, about you. you. just walked in the studio. Okay. Yeah. What were you saying? Just saying you do a great pigeon impression. No, we were just saying that, um, <laughs> we were just saying um, about the textile glue and um, Becky was saying that she fixed your shirt for you. She did, Becky fixed a lot of my shirt. Do you find a lot of the staff come to you for um, yes. alterations and yes. repairs? Yes, yes. Jamie's hoodie, which I tried to fix and I made a big hole in it. What? <laughs> what? Oh, the, the, um, it, the drawstring on his hoodie had gone. Oh, yeah. And um, I, I tried to sort of thread... No, we couldn't... Work, we thought it just got lost and actually it had actually been you know, taken apart. And I tried to sort of fix it. And I thought, well, if we take it out, it was stitched in. And I was like giving it a bit of a pull to try and sort of um, unstitch it. And um, I ended up making a big hole in it. Oops. I felt terrible. It wasn't an expensive one, was it? I think so. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> I'd need to buy him a replacement, I think. No, I I really that'll teach him to bother you whilst you're at work to do repairs. He'll not come again, will he? No, that's true. Maybe that's what I should do. Yeah, for exactly. Yeah, did Brent, you, come did back. You, did you stick, <laughs> stick Brent's letter on upside down back on his face? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it off that one? No, not this one. Ah. Ah. <laughs> 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 I 
He's just done a pigeon impression. Get out of here. Get out of here. Seriously, what are they like? Um, I love your techniques using text dog move for curves, says Patricia Slatten. I learned this from you from previous shows. Oh, brilliant. It, it's, it is really, really good. It's definitely worth doing. Right, now we've stitched the bottom of the bag. Um, we've got our lining all done. And um, this is the bag that I made early today, and exactly the early today. It wasn't early today, it was early this week. Um, in exactly the same way. So we had this little um, gap here. Um, before we stitch the other parts to it, we just want to put the zip inside. So we just um, stitch that in, and it shows you how to do that. Again, I would suggest that you, um, other, if you, if you can't, haven't got any tape that you can use, like um, a quilter's tape to secure it, um, you might want to do some little tacking stitches before you sew it up together with your sewing machine, um, just to make it easier for yourself. Now, all you want to do is you want to pop this piece inside here. So, just going to go through here like that. So, different to the way we do bags normally, um, and we just want to find where that little opening is, and we are going to place our lining around there and again I'm just going to stitch around here to secure that in place and then you've got your little lining in your bag um, so again I'll just do a really quick um, stitch through if I can find where my needle's gone where are you hello hello little hello. needle oh is it, is it not in the bag what's that at the top of the bag oh no that's, that no, that's, a not, that's not it I have to oh. thread a new needle give me two seconds and I'll just stitch that um, by hand. Um, I tell you what, what don't forget the, um, the Lucky Dips which are available for you on the website. Like, sorry, I've still got this. I can't stop hugging it. It's so awesome. squishy! Uh, this is tomorrow's um, uh, Quilt Along uh, project that uh, Becky's going to be doing. Um, full details are up on the uh, group right now, by the way. Uh, no, the uh, Lucky Dip International Quilting Day tomorrow, but we're celebrating today ahead of the big day tomorrow when it is all about soft craft. Um, that Lucky Dip is available for you. Lots of different items within it. Uh, we've got all sorts in the uh, Lucky Dip, to be honest with you. So um, do have a dip. You can dip uh, five times without getting a duplicate. So it's worth a bit of a go. You can dip more than five times if you want, but if you do go six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or however many, we can't guarantee that you won't get duplications. It's one pound sixty, one dollar sixty uh, per dip. So nice if you're on a bit of a budget today. Budget, what's that? I hear you cry. Uh, but you know, if you are looking to spend a little bit less, these are absolutely perfect. And again, the other kind of end of things, maybe you've gone and bought the, uh, the brand new launch today. Maybe you're adding some of those builder blocks, which we've got in at tremendous prices today. And you're getting close to that free shipping threshold of 125. Those are the kind of things, those uh, lucky dips that you might just want to throw in uh, to get you a little bit closer to the uh, free shipping. Two pounds, two dollars, and you can dip up to five times without getting uh, repeats. What can I... you buy for one pound sixty? Nothing uh, really, can you? What could you buy for one pound sixty? You couldn't even buy a spool of thread for that. A spool of thread is one pound ninety-seven. So, um... <laughs> well, for one pound sixty, Johnny. So Johnny says you could buy ten fish fingers. That's for, that's got to be from that bargain supermarket. And he, this is how annoyed. Like Johnny was very annoyed, right? He bought a pack of um, <laughs> Aldi's finest fish fingers, pack of ten. Yeah. And he had eight in it. Someone had pinched two out of them. Don't know what had happened. That's terrible. Yeah. Did you go back and shout? Are you going to go back and complain? Mm. You you wouldn't get that with the captain, would you? Captain, that wouldn't happen with the captain. <laughs> yeah, but if you want to get 10 in your box with the captain, they you pay to, twice the price. Do you remember they used, to do smoke, they used to do salmon fish fingers? No, I do not remember that. That is not even true. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah, yeah they salmon did. Salmon fish fingers? Salmon fish fingers, yeah. Uh, they were bird's eye, I think. Bird's eye salmon fish fingers. Yeah, I don't know how quite, I feel they were about quite that. nice. I almost feel like it's a waste of good salmon to coat them in breadcrumbs. Maybe it wasn't good salmon. Well, yeah. Well, you don't, you don't want to overcook them, do you? No. No. Are, you, are you Googling it to make sure I'm not lying? Yep. <laughs> Johnny believes you. He doesn't have to Google. You're always right, he says. Uh, I know. <laughs> Chip vending machine. Chip machine. Yeah. Didn't know that existed, it yeah. did. Yeah. Always useful. I'm doing quite large stitches here just to finish these off. Yeah. There you go. He's found them. Do they still exist? Can you still buy them? They still really? exist, apparently. Oh. Only get them in the really posh shops, though. They're they? five pound a fish finger. <laughs> <laughs> five pound a salmon finger. <laughs> 50 quid a box. Um, Becky, is there enough room around the top to top stitch the bag instead of hand stitch, says Joanne Madigan? Um, 
You would, I think you would, it would be fiddly. I mean, it's quite, it, it's a little fiddly to um, hand stitch it, but it's not too bad. I would say you could do, but it might be, um, you, you might be involved quite a lot of fiddling around, titivating is what I would term. Yes. Um, so yeah, you could, you could potentially, um, but in the instructions, it does say to um, sort of hand stitch them together, um, but you can, um, it's not, a little bit of hand stitching, I think it's quite nice. I don't like, I don't enjoy hand stitching when I'm on air. Um, I always find that a bit pressured. Do you? A bit pressured, yeah, hand stitching. So I'm sure my mum's watching and going, well, that's not very neat, is it? <laughs> um, but um, I, it's not neat. Um, but, I'm um, sure she is not thinking that no, at I'm, all. No, I'm sure she is. My mum would be like, oh. Does she tune in? Yes, yeah, she oh. does. She watches most, most. Hi, mum. But quite often she can't remember how to find it. Oh, um, what's, so sometimes what's your mum called? Miss. Audrey. Audrey, if you're watching, can send us a message. She can't do that. Oh. Well, go on, Mum, prove me wrong, but I don't think you'll be able to work out how to send a message. Audrey, you can do it if you're watching. Send us a message. Where will she be watching, do you think? Facebook or YouTube? Uh, YouTube. OK. Well, do you just have to go into the little comment box. Send us a comment, Mum. Send us a little comment. Yeah. Audrey, we'd love to hear from you. Let us know um, at marks at 10. <laughs> About three and a half, I reckon. No, that'd yeah. be ridiculous. No. I'd love that if your mum commented right now. <laughs> that would be amazing. Yeah, my mum tends to watch. That. Not everyone else doesn't watch, but my mum watches. At least your mum watches. Nobody in my family watches. Oh, oh my dad watches quite a lot, actually. Take that back. Yeah. But Laura, I've no, had this conversation before, doesn't even know where to find us. No, my husband doesn't either. He doesn't watch. Yeah. He, was like, he said, look, you, it's your job. Um, <laughs> it'd be weird if someone was watching me do my job. So he said, do you come into my office and sit in front of my desk and watch me work? Yeah, but... Um, so I might do that next week, just for fun. Yeah. I mean, that would be weird, but obviously the job that we do, we yeah. ask people to watch, so that's not yeah. weird, is it? It would no. be weird if you went and sat in a, I don't know, if your partner worked in a bank or something, and you just sat and watched them at the cashier till all day. That would yeah. be weird, but this is It would be weird. weird. But I think, cause he does, because he does find it weird, next week, when I've got some time off, I will go into the office, and I'm just going to sit there mm. and just watch him. See if that freaks him out. Maybe and then just send some messages to him, like I'm you know, commenting on what he's doing. Ask him some questions. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, why exactly did you do that? I'm sorry, says Sil Sparkly, but there's no hand stitching in this house. No way, Jose. <laughs> I would just stick it in place and top stitch the outside to attach the lining. Yeah. I once tried to mend the seam in a nighty by hand. It ended up like it had been chewed by a bulldog and mended by Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Love that analogy. That's quite Very good. good. I remember I quite enjoyed when my kids were at school about stitching their um their labels on their school uniform. I really uh, enjoyed doing that. Yeah. Um uh, I'm, but I'm even more glad that they don't need that done anymore. Right, there you go. Yay! So we've got a little zip bag, um, we've got our lining in there. Um, it's only sort of tacked in really, it's not done properly. But you've got all that lining in there and you can create um, any kind of, um, with any kind of fabric. You can see we're using all that velvet um, that we've got on the show today, but you could use anything else. Um, you could line it with velvet and have a, an outside of um, denim maybe, It'd be quite nice. Um, totally up to you, but then you've got this little wristlet um, bag. Oh, I made this one a little bit small. Um, but a little wristlet bag for you to take out and fill up with your cantaloupe melons. <laughs> or your two family bags of Maltesers. Maltesers. Yeah. yeah. Or three or three cinnamon buns. Oh, cinnamon buns. Mm, like a cinnamon I was bun. trying to think, just as you were talking, I know we're going to go for a break in a minute. We had this conversation last time I did a softer side with you and you were using something else as a, um, a measurement. Mars bars. Was it use, I bars? use Mars bars generally as, as like a pocket measurement. Um, so you know, like, you look at a pocket, you go, well, po Jean, Jean's pocket, um, they are mini, mini chocolate buttons size. But proper pocket in a dress, you're talking of a family bag of Maltesers or maybe three king size Mars bars, if you're lucky. There you go, everybody. You are uh, up to date. You're yep. up to date. Um, just a quick question as well. I don't yeah. know if you'll know this off the top of your head, and if not, Rhonda, the details are up, but Rhonda's asking for tomorrow. On the pillow for tomorrow, what size square and a half square are you using on the builder block system, and what is the finished size of the pillow? Do you have that to hand? If not, don't worry, because I know the details are up. The finished size of the pillow, I think, is 18 inches. I can, do you want to make sure you Yeah. Come on, I'm coming over. I put all of these things here as a barrier, so you couldn't come over. Oh, I'll have to check it then. Hey! hey! Right. She's blocked me off. I have. Can't get through. Yeah, it's 18 inches. Yeah. And then the squares are, they're two and a half inch squares. 
Um, so we're using your two and a half inch triangles as well. And then your little um, squares, uh, these other squares, they're six inch squares. So I would cut them at seven inches and then trim them off. Um, but that will give you um, a bit of information for tomorrow. I don't actually need that back, do I? Yeah. So I'll just keep cuddling it for the rest of the show. Thank you. Uh, anybody else got any questions, um, do let us know. And if you are thinking about joining the um, quilt along tomorrow, all the details will be up on the socials for you. Uh, Marisol just saying that bag is the perfect size if you knit for a sock project. Oh, yes. Good yes. Idea. Good idea. Loving Good all idea. these ideas. Um, listen, uh, we're going to take a short break, give you the opportunity to get your baskets checked out. If you're going for the uh, brand new collection today, over a quarter of the stock has gone there. And get those uh, lucky dips as well. They're proving very, very popular too. Uh, we'll come back in about three or four minutes time and have a look at some new Macau fabric. Welcome to Club Inspire the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves. Leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comfort of your own living room. Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range, or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time so you can get on with being creative. Crafter's Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. Welcome to Crafter's TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. So join our family of craft experts with live tutorials and demonstrations every day. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products here on Crafters TV. Get creative and craft along with our amazing deals. Your next craft project is only a click away. Tune in live seven days a week or watch on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook or our YouTube channel. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends in our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like, um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. You all have time with each other! <laughs> You're not through to boot camp. Get off! <laughs> There's a show for every type of actor, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. So, stop what you're doing and enjoy the fun here on Crafters TV. Welcome back, everybody. Oh, that was high. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, welcome back to uh, Crafters TV. Uh, my name's Ben Mosby. Thank you for joining us. Big day today, of course, St. Patrick's Day. So happy um, St. Patrick's Day to all of our viewers, uh, particularly to you guys as well, if you are um, in Ireland or Irish. Uh, let us know if you're watching from Ireland today, actually, and let us know what you're doing to celebrate. Uh, and also, big for the fact that um, this weekend, tomorrow is International Quilting Day, so we're having a bit of a celebration today by bringing you lots of great deals um, right across our uh, website and then tomorrow on International Quilting Day itself we are going to be bringing you um, a uh, soft craft play your crafts right show earlier we're going to be bringing you a craft along where we're going to be making that oh I've just giving it you back I was going to grab it uh, we're going to be making that amazing pillow no it's all right you, have it. you want it do you want it? I did. <laughs> chuck it. No, don't chuck it because we a camera will get in trouble. Uh, and then there's um, a multimedia die uh, masterclass coming up tomorrow as well. Um, with that in mind, also, 
on the website last uh, uh, right now. There are loads and loads of great deals for you um, when it comes to Softcraft, up to 70% off. Um, so do shop those deals. Now, uh, talking of new, we've got some new Mac Hour uh, fabric for you. We don't have a lot of this uh, fabric. So if you see a uh, selection that you like or a color that you like or a design that you like, get in nice and quickly uh, because these do tend to sell out. So. Uh, the floral and fauna uh, Mac Hour collection. Uh, this is your large flowers on dark blue. Absolutely love that. I think um, a few of these have got a bit of a chinoiserie sort of feel to them. Some of these um, sort of very Hawaiian-y actually. This one and also the large flowers on pink I'm about to show you in just a few moments time, I think would look absolutely brilliant on a shirt. Um, just putting that out there, if there's anyone we know that could put, put, potentially um, pop a little um, shirt together, I think these would look Brilliant. Um, Charlotte, yes, Charlotte. Also, they would look good on swimming trunks. They're very Vilbriquin, aren't they? Very what? Vilbriquin. I don't know what that means. So, um, Vilbriquin, they're a, um, a band of men's shorts. Oh, uh, okay. Like ones that, ones that are like £300 a pair. Would you be able to uh, make these into trunks? You'd, you'd need like I the netting, wouldn't you? I, yeah, and I'd also, I'd, it would also need to be someone quite little. There's not a lot of fabric there <laughs> to make the No, shorts. I mean, but you'd buy enough, wouldn't you, to make it? Because you could buy it by the half. Yeah, but the, I always think the fabric that you have uh, swimming trunks made out of, it tends to be, um, it doesn't tend to hold the water. Right. This is always like 100% cotton. Okay. So you don't want them to get waterlogged and no. then to, you know, disappear. Um, no one wants that. They could no. be lounging around on the beach trunks rather than swimming trunks. Um, oh, yeah, it's a bit, it's not enough. I can make you a skirt if you really want one. You've got, it's, it's, it's going to be a scant skirt. A scant skirt. <laughs> um, an, apron an apron would look nice, Charlotte. You're right, that would be good, actually. Uh, but that is the large flowers on um, pink. So you've got the pink and the blue. Then we've got our... What's this one called again? Ferns, that's it. Um, again, really lovely design here. You can uh, buy this by the half metre at uh, 6 99 10 in the US, uh, or 5 59 39 if you're um, shopping in the US and you're platinum. That one is the uh, same design as this one, but then you've got that on that beautiful uh, pink. And then you've also got that same design. I think those three work lovely together. On this green, I've got um, a lot of love for this green. It's pre very pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Very uh, bright and bold and almost sort of like... Um, lime green isn't it really i love the fact as well so you got the ferns on there is that what what's that in th what's that flower that's like one of those um is it one of the dandelion um yeah or yeah like yeah like an allium what's or, it called allium yeah or um what's the one that blows i can't think what it's called um one that's the cow cow parsley oh cow parsley yes that is that does look like cow parsley you're right you're right but those are the three colors of your uh ferns then Oh, sorry, it's going to fold this all back correctly. I got praised for that earlier on. The thing is, before it used to be a problem because there'd be someone else that would have to deal with them afterwards, but now it's, an, it's you on the, all the shows. So you oh, yeah, when we had like the second host, yeah. you mean? Yeah, so I think then we were... This one, uh, in the words of Johnny, is the lotus, lotus <laughs> on black. <laughs> Uh, again, 5.59 or 8.39. Next up <laughs> is our heron and turquoise leek. <laughs> the lotus on black leek and the heron and turquoise. Uh, when we did uh, double check, we did our, um, our research earlier on to confirm that that is a heron and not a crane. Um, you'll have to go back and watch Wake Up Call from earlier on this morning uh, to find out the differences between the two. And then, if you love your butterflies, we've got... You've then got all of these beautiful um, butterfly uh, collections. So you've got the butterflies on blue. Um, it's funny, actually, earlier on when Charlotte was looking at these, she was like, well, where are the butterflies? It, it's one of those where, yeah, you might not see it initially, but then when you do see it, you're like, ah, oh, yes. It's basically, you've got... Uh, on, it's easier to see, I think, on the next one I'm about to show you, but you can see, there you go, butterflies wing to wing. Heaven, I'm, I'm in, in heaven, heaven, and my heart beats so that I can hardly speak. 
<laughs> Charlotte's just gone. Please don't sing again. I need to take a paracetamol. Do we need to um, work out all the words for all the songs that we sing? Because we only know. I know all the words to that one. Oh, do you? Yeah. Well, there's a challenge. I'm not going to do it. I'll get in trouble. And also, we'll probably have to end up paying lots of money in like, royalties, won't we? Um, this one here is also the butterflies, but the uh, butterflies on turquoise. And um, yeah, I really like this one because you've got like just that little sort of fleck of pink in there, which at a glance again looks like two little kissy lips. It does, it is. It does definitely look like kisses, yeah. But it's um, two butterflies wing to wing. Heaven. <laughs> um, and then last but by no means least, you've got that on the light blue as well. Um, so some really gorgeous designs and um, really lovely quality as well is the thing to talk about here, isn't it? 100% um, cotton. Yeah, um, they wash really well. Um, they iron well. They are, they've got a lovely sheen to them as well. Mm. Um, not a lot of stock of the fabric whenever we have that in. Uh, and I know a lot of you uh, bought it this morning as well. So uh, if you do like the look of any of those fabrics, uh, then do head to the website and snap those up. Worth bearing in mind also, I've written it down in my notes here, um, that we do have other fabric uh, with 20% uh, off. Not that, obviously, because it's new, uh, but we do have other fabric on the website, 20% off until end of play on Sunday. Now, exciting. If you have been thinking about uh, jumping into the world of Builder Block, we have got deals on the Builder Blocks that you've never seen before. Buy one, get one free. Wow. Obviously, you get the cheapest one free, but I thought I'd just quickly fire through a few of the uh, different ones that you are going to be able to get your hands on. So, uh, the pineapple, uh, again, 69.99 or 89.95 uh, is £55.99 or 71.96 if you're shopping in the US and you're a platinum member. There's tons in the box. If I flip that around as well, it just shows you the kind of uh, blocks that you can make. But if you enjoyed watching uh, Becky earlier on with the original builder block, then these are like the bolt-on boxes. Obviously, they're standalone as well, but if you're kind of collecting these up, what a great opportunity uh, to add more of these um, dies and shapes into your stash to allow you to create even more amazing designs. So that one is your um, pineapple. You've also got the winding ways. Uh, see now, the, the <laughs> Johnny singing. Uh, what we're going to try, I think, Becky, are you looking for finished samples over there as I well? I am, yeah. Okay, so if we get a finished sample that we can um, show, just give me a little aruga and we'll, we'll do it. So there's the winding ways. The long and winding way. Do, do. Flip that around. That shows you uh, the kind of, um, again, designs that you can make. But here, listing all of the different blocks that you're able to make. And as demonstrated by, um, and by the way, I must say this is really funny. As we were talking at lunch whilst I was eating my eggs and fish sticks and uh, Becky was tucking into a jacket of potato, she was saying that um, back along, um, <laughs> she wanted to be one of, you know, like on the, um, like the prices, right? Or I have the, the ladies who were like, they show the prizes and they're like, Becky uh, said that she always wanted uh, to do that. Um, so here she is just showing, <laughs> showing, <laughs> Showing. Uh, <laughs> that is brilliant, isn't it? That is brilliant. Um, but, but yes, you were going to show the winding ways, weren't you? Oh, yeah, I was going to show that. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> so, so, this is what you can make from the builder block I've just shown you on the screen. <laughs> We need like the right music. Hands. Yeah, so this is um, this is one of the <laughs> examples of them. And I'll, I'll, every like every time you you say one, I'll try. I'll have a rummage. I've got a huge um, container full of um, all different quilting um, samples over here. So I see which ones I've got. So this is Winding Ways. Oh, sorry, we've done. Yep. Next up uh, is uh, the Bee Leaf. And I know we've got that. I think I've seen that over there. Um, so again, you might think to yourself, I like the winding ways. Maybe I'll pop the bay leaf in my box as well. Uh, details coming up for you. Uh, that is 47.99 platinum or 71.96 if you're shopping in the US. If I flip that, gives you a bit of an idea of um, what you can create. But let's go over to uh, my glamorous assistant, Becky, who will show you. Oh, it looks a bit like an egg timer. <laughs> It, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah really, really clever um, design. Uh, and you can flip it while having, you know, it's, it's still the same shape. You've got these curves, these sort of petals, and then these sort of um, squares at the end. Um, but do, using different colours and in diff different ways, you can get lots of different kinds of patterns. It's very clever. Marvellous. Uh, next. There's some really interesting names here. And I should remember, if I didn't have a brain like a sieve, I would remember the answer to this. And um, I guess you guys will probably tell me why it's called, or Becky will probably remember what it's called, Rob Peter to pay for. 
We Can definitely looked this up on one show. Because you're, right. you're basically stealing from one part of the shape to make another. Oh, uh, OK. So it would look like you're making, like at the bay leaf, like you're making this whole shape here, but actually you're taking away that little section down there. There we go, yeah. Um, and again, uh, that is... Uh, <laughs> does it too well, doesn't he? £47.99 or $71.96 if you're platinum. Buy one, get one free. Next up... We are on to the uh, Builder Block Designer Collection, um, designed by Karen Lewis, this one, which is the Bejeweled uh, Delight. Once again, um, comes with a set of um, five multimedia dies, allowing you to uh, be able to create some wonderful designs. This one is um, slightly cheaper because uh, $27.99 or $31.96. What I would say is if you're doing the buy one, get one, what you might want to do is... Um, you know, get two of the expensive ones to get your money's worth. That's how my mind sort of works. You don't want to buy like an expensive one and then get one of the cheaper ones. You know, you want to get, get your money's worth here. But it's entirely up to you. Um, these ones show you like three projects that you can make um, on the front. One of which uh, Becky has got over there, that beautiful bag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, this is, so in, in those ones, those um, designer ones, you get three projects in there as well. So, yeah. But you can't make any different sizes, which you can do with the other build blocks. Right, OK. Uh, next up, also from the designer collection, is the Catherine Wheel. So again, a three in one. So it shows you, again, the designs that you can make and the three projects that you can um, make here as well. So you've got the, uh, the quilt, you've got your tote bag, and then you've got that wall hanging as well. <laughs> Ever wondered what it looks like in real life? We do need some music. So All like I've got in my head <laughs> is the... Du, 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 should, I'd love to be on a game show. Huh? I'd love to be on a game show. You know, like Bullseye, where they could win a caravan or uh, a speedboat. I, I'm currently watching the, uh, that. It's, um, I'm up to series 11 now. Oh, it's really? on Challenge TV, <laughs> and I've been watching all of them. It's so good. Come on, have a look at what you could have won. Are, Did, you, are you any good at darts? I'm, I'm quite good at darts. I'm not too bad. Yeah. Not too bad. We need a dartboard here. Oh, we should definitely have yeah. a dartboard here. That'd be really good. Yeah. Especially when we times we've got. Well, no, obviously in between in shows. In between shows. Not what we're supposed to be. Um, or maybe we could have, you know, like little games where it could be play your cross right. We could play darts, darts. and see what. Yeah. Yeah. Or what we could do is build like a massive bowls rink, and yeah. that, I could, I could, you know. Yeah. Challenge everyone. Yeah. as I'm the world champion. Yep. Uh, next up, Geometric Arrows. So again, this is one of the designer collections um, designed by Karen Lewis. This one is $27.99, $31.96. Once again, on the front, you can see that you've got the ability uh, to do three projects. So your Geometric Arrows quilt, you can create a cushion, and then also your apron as well. And here is the cushion. Oh, I like the little tassels. Yep. Really clever, and all of these um, designs, they do 12 and a half inch blocks, but there's nothing to stop you from using these um, patterns or these, these designs for these projects with some of the other blocks as well. So yeah, this is a quite cool one. Um, next, from one of the uh, designer collections to another, uh, the Compass Gem, yeah, Joe Avery. I don't think I've seen this one before. In fact, I don't, in fact I'm pretty sure I haven't. Um, so again, from the um, designer collection, this is the Compass Gem, so £27.99, £31.96, designed by uh, the lovely Joe Avery. You have got your uh, Compass Gem quilt, you've got your uh, tote, and also that one there. I thought that initially, it's a wall hanging, isn't it? I thought that would make a nice little bandana for um, It'd be for quite the, big. For the dog. It's, um, <laughs> big dog, big, you've got some bananas. How big's your dog? <laughs> 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 make, it make, it make a nice uh, bandana, bandana for an um, elephant, maybe. <laughs> maybe, yeah. <laughs> that makes your dog. <laughs> yeah, it, it doesn't look that big actually, on the packaging. You could make it into like a little, um, a little sort of jacket. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That work. That's what yeah. I was thinking more of. Yeah. Yeah. So you've you got like the a superhero, it's like a cape. <laughs> Not capes. <Yeah. laughs> or a cloak. Or a cloak, like yeah. a cloak, maybe. Yeah. Uh, so you've got the, uh, the wall hanging and the bag as well. Next is the windmill. I'm lovely looking through all these. I can't believe we've got so many different designs for your builder block and so much opportunity for you uh, to save time, to be more precise with your makes and actually have the ability uh, to be able to um, make these as well. You've got step-by-step -step instructions included um, to make your quilt, 
your windmill placemat, which is super cool, and your windmill machine cover as well. Yep. Mm. So we've got the quilt here, and as if by magic, I can go like that. Oh, yeah, look at that. Table. Woo! That. That's quite cool. I was, quite, I, was, I was quite impressed with that. That was quite good, actually. Oh, it's weird. Yeah. Do again. Da -da -da. Whee. Like magic. Like Stephen Mulhern. Mm. Um, next up, East Ham. Eastham. Um, this one is uh, making a quilt. You can make a cushion. You've got your um, table runner in there, too. Again, uh, five dies in there for £27.99. Thirty-one ninety-six. Um, if you want to jump in and grab that one, uh, just worth bearing in mind, as I said, as we go through these. If you have just joined us, thinking, what's going on here? Buy one, get one free on all the builder boxes. We're celebrating uh, National or International Quilting Day tomorrow. Uh, we've then got the Kaleidoscope. Um, the Kaleidoscope again, really, really um, uh, fantastic value for money. Uh, it's forty-nine ninety-nine. Uh, again, making the 6, 8 and 12 inch blocks. And as we spin this one around, again, you can see uh, the kind of designs that you can make. Love that. Um, and it shows you all of the different um, dies that you're going to be getting within that collection too. Uh, $49.99 or $54.95 comes down to $39.99 or $43.96 if you're shopping in the US. And then lastly, this is one of my favourites, the Nautilus. Because it, it reminds me very much of, you know, sort of where I'm from, the seaside, the waves, isn't it, this? It looks very much like that, um, like that very expensive surfing brand as well, Quicksilver. Yeah. Sort of a little bit like their um, logo. You have a really lovely um, sort of um, sage green um, Quicksilver jacket, which I absolutely love. And I left it in a club one time. Um, never got it back. Never got it back. Yeah, nightclub. Bowling um, club. What? Bowling club. Bowling club. <laughs> now, I wasn't bowling all those years ago. I wasn't a world champion like I am now. Uh, £47.99 for the Nautilus or $51.96 is the deal on that. Uh, Maricel says, uh, one of my neighbours was an announcer on The Price is Right in the US in the mid-80s. Oh my goodness. That'd be quite good. You obviously, it, like, that is amazing. Um, I think you'd make a good announcer. I'd love to do that. Hey. Like, voiceover guy. Ben Mosby, come on down. down. Becky Swan, <laughs> come on down. <laughs> you sound a little bit too like Mr. Tumble, though, Ben. <laughs> no, that would be <laughs> Becky Swan, come on down. Thank you. You're happy. <laughs> uh, Stephen Lee Guy says that wall hanging that we saw, that yeah. would fit my brother's dog, says Stephen. <laughs> What sort of dogs he got? Let us know. Um, we're going to have a look at the builder blocks. Yep. Are you going to have a look at the windmill? I am. How okay. did you guess? I don't know. Maybe somebody Amazing. told me. You might hear. But um, I'm going, tomorrow I'm going to do your favourite one. I'm going to do Nautilus tomorrow. Oh, marvellous. It's almost like a plan map. Yeah. Um, so in these ones, so these are the designer ones. So we jo had Joe Avery and Karen Lewis doing the designer ones. And these are the ones that you'll um, get the details to make a 12 and a half inch block. But you also get three different projects in there. Um, one of them is always a quilt. But um, this one, you've got like a table mat and you've got a um, machine cover on this particular one. Um, so in here, you'll get your dies. Um, they won't look as well used as mine do. Um, and they, won't, they will stick to the little bits of um, stickiness that you've got here. Um, if you're like me and you get, end up getting lots but it's a fluff on them and um, take them off um, and then use some of our tape pens to retape them and um, that's my top tip for yeah. today um, then you're going to get your little booklet and again you know we try and give you as much information as possible with your booklets um, we've put in here about a quarter of an inch seam allowance has already been taken into account with these blocks and we also suggest that you look at the um, grain line of your fabric um, when you're cutting out your dies and then as you go through here we'll show you how many of everything you need to cut um, we're obviously using um, plain colours on here so it doesn't matter whether you have things um, left or right but for some things um, say for example um, down down here, um, fabric A, um, this shape here, we've got here, which is number one, um, you need four together and you want four of them, um, we've got little asterisks here and that means cut with the wrong side of the fabric facing the die and if you've got two asterisks like you've got down here, it's cut with the right side of the fabric facing the die, so obviously make sure that you've got them round the right way. There will be times when you've cut them the wrong way round, I would just leave them in the packaging to use in, in the future when you're going to be doing them again. And as you go further through the booklet, I'll show you how to make all those different projects. But 
the main thing to start off with is the main block. So that's what we're going to be doing now. Um, so I have already cut some of my shapes out, but I do want to cut a few more. So I'm going to be cutting this shape out. So this is like the main part. So that's the main sort of circular part of the block. And I make, need to make sure that I'm cutting the right way around. So I'm going to have a look at this piece of the, the um, booklet and make sure that I've got my block facing the right way. So I want my grain line that way. Yep. Um, I basically want my grain line at right angles to this long line down here. So I'm going to get my fabric. I've already cut a few pieces of fabric out to see how many I can fit into here. Probably only get two out of each piece of fabric, I would have thought. Um, so I can see that my, my grain line is going up this way because I've got my salvage edge over here. So I know that if I put my die like that, that's going to work. So I need to flip it over like that so I'm going to use that and then I've also got some grey fabric here as well so I'll cut those out of so the grey and also the blue I'm just going to put that like that and then that looks about right and I'm going to run that through the machine so again I'm going to use my fabric plates so fabric plate and my die I'm going to put some tape on there as well I don't need to cut that fabric. I think whether or not people are, um, I, know, well, I know loads of people are shopping today, you're certainly inspiring lots of people oh, uh, as well. Like Maricel, who says, I'm loving today's show. Um, it puts me in the mood to sew. I don't have my sewing machine out, so I'm doing some hand sewing on a stuffed cat. Oh, uh, uh, as in a, a toy cat or a cat that's really, really hungry, really, really, it had far too much food. Overeaten cat. Um, I imagine it's a toy. A little, I, we're going to do a little bit of hand sewing later on, actually, because we're going to do um, something with some patchwork dyes. Um, but so we do a lot of hand sewing as well. But I do find it quite therapeutic. And in fact, when I travel up here on the train, which I haven't done for a while because of there have been train strikes, but I do like to, um, to take a little bit of hand sewing um, with me. I always feel like I'm, there's a people look at me in a funny way. I'm um, there hand sewing when everyone else is watching Netflix. I'm there like, ooh. But um, oh, that's what I do anyway. I find you, it therapeutic. You do you. Oh, yeah, exactly. I meant to say as well, Marisol, um, I thought of you the other day. Oh. Because, uh, I don't know if anyone's seen it, the new Tom Hanks movie, A Man Called Otto. I've not seen that. Uh, it's a really good movie. If you like, well, if you like Tom Hanks. I mean, if you don't like Tom Hanks, you know you're going to get a good movie with him. And it is a good movie. But anyway, the, the leading lady in that movie, her character is called Marisol. Oh. And it's the, only the second time I've ever heard that name. And straight away I thought, oh. Oh, Marisol watches. Didn't they used, to, wasn't one of the people in Devious Maids called Marisol? I don't know what that is. Oh, did you not, did you not watch Devious Maids? I don't know it what that is. It was a great show. What is it? It was a, an American show years ago, long time ago, where they had um, all these, I think someone was murdered and um, all the, they didn't, all these sort of wealthy people didn't realise how much their maids knew and people were having affairs and it was all this sort of thing. It was, it was quite, it was a bit like Desperate Housewives, uh, okay. that kind of feel to it. But yeah. I'm sure somebody on that was called Marisol, because mm. um, it's not a name you hear very often. No, it isn't. It's a lovely name as well. Right. So I've got these pieces here um, and then I would want to uh, start building that block all together. Now I have already put some together, um, so I'll show you what they look like over here. So I've got, I'm sure I've got enough pieces. Um, I've got my grey piece like that. Mm -hmm. So again, I use my glue to put this together. And then I want my um, piece like that. And I want this piece to go along here. So the way I'm going to do this is exactly the same kind of way that I did before um, with um, that box. So I'm just going to fold that over and I'll find that center point. I'm going to put a little bit of a line in there. I'm going to do the same with this piece here. Like that. A line here. And then I want to use um, my glue. Um, so I'm going to be using my textile glue again. You can use pins, but I find textile glue is easier. Mm. So we're just going to stop. We only do half. Um, otherwise, you get yourself into a bit of a mess. We've got half there. We're going to match up that line down here. So there's two lines in the centre. And then we are going to match up the edge. So there's two edges uh -huh. like that. And then we're just going to gently tease those two edges together. I'm just going to get that working. So you've got going round on that curve. So you can see now you've got those two curves matching together. We'll do the same on the other side. 
So this is what you do with all of those, all those curved ones, and this is how you would put it together. Whether you're doing it by pins, you do it in exactly the same way. You find that centre point first of all, then you do the ends. You can do it by, by pinning it, um, or you can do it by using some textile glue. Yeah. Um, like us say. By the way, Johnny, um, Stephen sent in a picture. It says, I've sent you a picture, Ben, of my brother, who's six foot two, so you can see how big the dog is. <laughs> this is the dog that he reckons would fit that wall hanging. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm interested. And did he say what the dog is? No, he didn't say. What, what sort of dog is it, Stephen? Well, I guess we'll see when we see the picture. A big one. A big one. It's the, the picture of his brother, who's six foot two, so you can see how big the dog is with the dog. Yeah. <laughs> I'll hopefully send a picture of both because he just sent you a picture of, you, of his brother. That's not going to work, is it? So we're just stitching around using that quarter of an inch seam allowance. And um, no, remember again, okay. with, with these dies, you've already taken that quarter of an inch seam allowance in there. So <laughs> I'm, ju I'm judging the by that, that I'll comment. I'll tell you what you just said. That, that there's quite a big, there's quite a big dog. Oh, so <laughs> it's he's six foot two, the guy in the picture, yeah. Is it big, is it? Can we, can, we, can we see that? We'll have to have a look at it on screen in a second. Okay. We'll get our, uh, our viewers to try to decipher what's going And then we're going to put is. these two pieces together and then we're going to start uh, put a, a, a um, triangle down here as well once we put that together. Yeah. So I'll carry on with that. Once, so once you've got like the original builder book, you can pretty much then buy any of these, can you, to, to sort of work well, alongside it? Well, you can't really... Yeah, you can't mix them no. so i mean with the builder plot the build builder block builder block and the builder block plus yeah which i think we sold out of this we morning have. didn't we um but if you have those they they do match up because they're lots of get lots of um uh designs you can do using the both but with these i mean the, the, this makes a 12 and a half inch block so you might need to um, sort of trim down that block but because the largest block you can make with the builder block is 12 yeah um, but you can yes absolutely use them together um, so you could do a project with a large quilt and use all of these different builder have blocks lots of, yeah have a different block yeah for and there is you know there's often a project um, called a block a block a day for a year yeah and then um, funnily enough it means you've got to do a block a day for a whole year block a and day a block a day make a whole block yeah um, and do one, one, one a day for a year and then sew it together and you've got this massive quilt, but um, all, obviously all sorts of different patterns. Um, so you've got that here and then we're going to put that one there. I'm just going to give that a press before I stitch it together. That's a, that is going to be a big quilt, isn't it? Do you it would a be a massive a quilt. And I think, I, cause I always tell this story about, I um, went to a quilt fair and there were all these amazing quilts um, being exhibited. And there was one lady who said to me, you know, she's got hundreds of them and they, she makes them, she loves making them and they just end up in cupboards. She doesn't do anything with them afterwards, which I thought was awful. Mm. Um, you know, it represents hours and hours of days of people's um, lives. But she was saying um, she did a quilt, um, she started a quilt in the 1970s mm. and she, she'd quilt it, she was all doing by hand. She did it for a bit and then she'd lose interest and then she'd pick it up again and she started in the middle of the quilt so in the center so the centers um, and she'd finished it and basically it's taken her 30 years to make wow. so the the first part was all sort of browns and oranges quite sort of 70s type colors um, and then the um, 80s part that she did was lots of pinks and grays and blacks um, and then she did you know she just sort of worked her way through all these different um, you know, sort of decades of making these amazing quilts. What the? What that's on earth great is day, that? Isn't it? My goodness! It, that's either that's a great day or one of those dogs that my neighbour's got. Wow. What are they called? The um, are oh, the lion? The ones that chase lions? Um, Crazy. Uh, Ridgeback. We're using Ridgeback. Yeah. He's six foot two. That bloke, by the way. That's amazing. I mean, you could put a saddle on that dog, couldn't you? you? Could. And run it to the shops. Oh my goodness! I bet it eats a lot. Um, where's your brother from, Stephen? Well, I want to say, are you in Andover, Stephen? I want to say, maybe I'm wrong, in Hampshire, but I think I might be wrong. But yeah, he's obviously, um, well, they obviously keep pigeons unless they've taken the dog to the local pigeon farm. Um, but that is unreal, six foot two, that dog's massive. That, that wall hanging would hit the dog. That, I think that wall hanging would be a bit small for the dog. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. To be honest, that's amazing. Wowzers. You you, with a dog like that, you'd need a three-seater sofa just for the dog, wouldn't you? Yeah. Because you wouldn't want that dog on your lap. Although I, I bet they're the ones that don't have an idea of how big they are. 
Well, they're the yeah. ones that try to sort of, you know, you see that sitting in the cat bed. Yeah, well, our colleagues do that. Max still does that. And he's a border collie, and obviously he's not a lap dog, but he thinks he is. Um, wow, wait, I've never seen a dog so big. That is incredible. <laughs> that is incredible. That's amazing, the size of that dog. Right, so I've done these four sections. These four sections are going to stitch together. Like that here. There we go. And then we'll stitch those together. So you can see you're getting this particular design. So you can put it like this, like that, and you'll get that little circuit. It's almost like a... Um, it looks almost like a target, doesn't it? It does um, look a bit like so a target, So we're just going to yeah. stitch these pieces together. So stitch these two sides, and then these two sides, and then this whole section together, and then that will make that block on there. Um, Stephen says he is a Great Dane. That's what Scooby-Doo is, isn't he, as well? He's a Great Dane. Yeah. Uh, and yes, we do race pigeons. Stephen, where are you as well in the um, UK? The guys in the gallery want to know. Wait, I'm sure, I'm sure you're in the, in the UK. Oh, Charlotte's a big fan of pigeons, apparently. Never knew that. Um, oh, your dad raced them? Pigeon what? fancier. Yeah, pigeon fancier. My, um, my next door neighbour, uh, ex next door neighbour, well, because I don't live there anymore, uh, two, <laughs> two houses ago used to race pigeons. Just by the, no, it isn't, it isn't a gag. It's no, it's no. no. <laughs> this is not a gag, this one. He genuinely did uh, race pigeons. I just, I find it amazing how like, they know what the course is. You know what it is? And like, they know how to get back. I just find it, I find it incredible. Well, the whole thing incredible. I mean, and they don't have to ask for directions. They're obviously, they're obviously all female, aren't they, these pigeons? <laughs> oh, here we go again. Here we <laughs> no, go again. because if they were male, they would have got lost and they here wouldn't have bothered asking again. how to get back. <laughs> here we go again. <laughs> I think it's amazing. It, and so they, they used them, um, they were, didn't pigeons get... Um, they delivered messages and stuff as well, didn't well, they? Yeah, they? They got medals, didn't they, in the war, in the, the Second World War? Medals? War, medals. Are you thinking of... Um, Catch the pigeon now with uh, <laughs> Dazzle and Mutley. Catch the pigeon. He is in, he's in Wolverhampton, Charlotte, Stephen. Yeah. Um, no, they, I'm sure there, there was a book that my, my son had about animals that um, helped in the war, like different animals that, no, the particular pigeons that were given um, medals for their, their bravery um, and their, their, their work that they did, and dogs as well. Um, for particular things that they did during, um, yeah. during war, wartime. Animals are incredible. We watch um, a show, is it on a Sunday morning, I think? Um, Dogs with Incredible Jobs. Have you ever seen that show? No, I've never seen that. Oh, it's amazing. Well, like, like, brain surgeon. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, you just be silly. Not like you. Uh, no, just like dogs that, like, um, you know, like sensory dogs that, um, what do they call them? Medical detection oh, dogs. Oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Like, you know, um, like sniffer dogs, and then they have, like, specific dogs that will, like, guard livestock and things like that over in, like, South Africa or Australia. It's just amazing what animals can do, isn't it, really? Um, Joanne is saying, I work at a dog salon and have a St. Bernard named Hank, who I've done since he was four months old. He's now seven. He's wonderful, except those days he gets a stubborn streak. Those days take a lot longer. I can imagine. Yeah, he's not going to move, is he, old uh, Hank, if he, if he gets it uh, in him? One of my friends was, um, she trains guide dogs, but guide dog puppies. So they have to learn a certain amount of things before they go to guide dog school. Yeah. Um, and so she has them as, as, as new puppies. Um, and has to teach them like all the basics, and then they 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 then sort of pass through into the actual um, academy, as it were. It's like yeah. a whole a whole thing. And um, it, it, she said, there's like little things like obviously they've got to know to they can only go to the, the toilet at certain times of the day because they're working. And obviously, if you're you're hard of vision, you can't you know you can't just go anywhere because you can't can't clear it up. Mm. And so little things like that that they're taught to go at a certain time, certain place. Um, and all those sorts of things. They're, it's amazing, amazing animals, what they're able to do. Incredible. I just looked at the clock again. This show has flown over, talking to pigeons. Uh, we've got just 20 minutes left. Will there be a demo? I suppose there will be. Your demo of the show will be the bag again, will it? Bag against the bag. <laughs> oh, and demo of the day. We'll have to do that. We'll bag do versus it the In a minute. Well, we, we can put this in, but this is just a, this is a, um, a block. Okay. So I've not bag finished it. Bag versus bag versus block. Yeah, exactly. 
Um, but that's what the block looks like there, finished off. And then you could just put some, um, some wadding um, on the back of this um, and some heat resistant wadding uh, and some fabric and then make it into um, sort of a, a table mat for putting a pot onto or something similar um, if that's what you wanted to do. Give it a bit of press. Um, so shall I get my bags out? Oh, we're doing the vote now. Yeah, we're going to do it now. What, before okay, we, we did uh, into a little let break? Me, let me or? find where it's gone. All right, line them up. Oh, where's the other? Have you got the bag from earlier? Yeah. Oh, you have? Somewhere. Oh, you've got so many Somewhere. bags there. Somewhere. Did I make All right, that so one? that's your block. We'll call that one. <laughs> that's, that's one bag. <laughs> Are they right. the same? Hold on, they're the same. Yeah. Didn't you, you did it. I've done, I've done did you do one of each, did you? There's an awful lot of bags underneath yeah. here. Um, I just have to find something to put in here. Let me, let me put a bag in a bag. Oh dear, oh dear. You can't take me anywhere, can you? It, it was all going so professionally till this point, wasn't it? Right. Okay. Right. Okay. So, We've well, got... you, you number them up because I think I'm confusing matters here. So for demo of the day. Okay, so we've got the cube bag. <laughs> Hang on. Scared the life out of Charlotte there. So the cube bag is number one. Oh, I think that's funny. I, I frighten you. Number um, two. And then number two is... The teardrop, this or raindrop bag. So I'm just putting something in it to give it a bit of... What are you shoving in there? I'm just shoving a bit more fabric in. Oh. <laughs> Not a cantaloupe melon. No. Nothing like that. So one for the cube. One's the cube. Two for the raindrop. Two for the um, raindrop. Yep. And then three for the block. Okay. One, two or three. That um, raindrop looks like a, a pear. Does it? From the front now. You Does could it? put pears in it. How many pears could you fit in there? That's the question. Oh. Seven, maybe, Charlotte thinks. More One, two, or three. We're going to have a short break. When we come back, we'll rattle through a few of the other deals that we've got for you on uh, Softer Side. But get voting now, um, and we'll announce the result of the demo of the day shortly. Right now, head to the checkout, and we will come back in about three or four minutes' time. Our craft experts come from all over the UK to HQ up in the northeast, and here they are telling you a little bit about where they're from and what it's famous for. I'm originally from London, so Stoke Newington, I was born and bred and uh, loved London. I mean, I love London now, something really magical about being in the capital. Grew up in Norfolk, loved it. The countryside, the scenery, it was very green and, and just beautiful and picturesque. I now live in Bedford, uh, which and is brilliant for work and life because I feel like Bedford is sort of central to all these places around us so I get to see so many different places it's just great to be there so I live in Barnsley it's a and I say a town it's a town in South Yorkshire and South Yorkshire is a gorgeous place Barnsley in particular I love it gets a lot of flack but it's a really beautiful picturesque place to live especially because there's lots of green places around there lots of lovely um, parks and things like that but it is a gorgeous place to live Elphica neighboring village to us which is just full of history and I love going there ever such a lot famous what's it famous for oh the most famous thing I can think of is a film called Kez um, a local author called Barry Hines who lived in Oil and Common made a very famous film called Kez that um, is well known from where I am and actually filmed literally around the corner from where I live if you love crafters TV we've made it easy for you to watch us wherever you are whether you catch us on your tablet or take us with you on your mobile phone, it's easy to watch us anywhere. From here to here. Maybe don't watch us here. It would be easy to watch us here. Probably the easiest place to watch us is here. Crafters TV, with you wherever you are. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. So, join our family of craft experts with live tutorials and demonstrations every day. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products here on Crafters TV. Get creative and craft along with our amazing deals. Your next craft project is only a click away. Tune in live seven days a week or watch on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook or our YouTube channel. 
you can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends in our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like, um, Crafter's Companion is magical. There's magic here. You all had time with each other! <laughs> You're not through to boot camp. Get off! <laughs> There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. So, stop what you're doing and enjoy the fun here on Crafters TV. Welcome back, everybody. Um, I've got the result for the demo of the day, uh, but we will do that. I will keep you in suspense, and we'll do that very shortly. Um, lots of deals on the website, as I say, um, so do check them out. Lots of deals, up to 70% off um, as far as National um, Craft Month is concerned, and particularly focusing on soft craft stuff uh, up until the end of Sunday. This is a great deal, though, your uh, Builder Block quilt making uh, collection. What a price this is! For £40 or $60, look at the saving you're making here. This should be £116 or $153. We are going to give to you um, one of our builder blocks. Um, one of the most... I really, really like this one because what it allows you to do, and it's not just um, limited to that, is it, Becky, at all? Because you've got uh, the ability to make, again, through your 6 to 12-inch blocks um, with your alphabet and numbers, but not limited to that. Um, I think this is super, super um, handy to have and a really great builder block um, to get going with. In fact, we'll have a look at a quilt in just a few seconds' time. But that's included in the deal. Alongside that, we're also going to give you tons and tons of fabric so you've got your uh, four piece half meter bundles um in the uh, threaders fabric in the pretty pastels really lovely um springtime eastery colors there in the green the blue the yellow and the pink you've then got um, another set of your um four piece half meter bundles in the brights four of those and then we're also going to give you your essentials um, again sort of like your, your neutrals there if you like really with your um your white your black your gray and that sort of off-white so loads of fabric You've got your builder block set included in there too. Wouldn't it be amazing if we then gave you some storage alongside that? That's exactly what we're doing because we're also going to bring you one of the um, Simon boxes as well, or the, um, the store it all boxes as these are called. Just to open this one up for you and show you that you've got in here all of these um, compartments. So again, you've got the ability to be able to um, compartmentalize whatever it is, you know, whatever your craft, if it's paper craft, soft craft, whatever it might be, you can use these slats which are included um, to make the compartments the size that you want them to be for whatever you're storing in there. If you don't want the slats in there, you can take them all out. If you want to change it up, you can take them all out as well. But also, I just love this. These are in the little box here. Um, it shows you some of the things that you can store in here from batteries and bulbs, to cables, to craft items, to fabric, to DIY items, decoration, in there there's tons great for the kids as well Lego sewing kit stationery um, game pieces fishing equipment first aid kit literally so many reasons you want to have one of these in your life if you've already got one no doubt you'll be jumping in for this bundle as well really comprehensive kit that uh, and I know Becky you're just gonna have a quick look at one of the quilts this is brilliant from this collection how amazing is that really impressive. isn't that how long do I have to hold it for Hang on, hang on, Charlotte's just coming over. Oh, no, let's go. Oh! <laughs> just go back, because we're trying to get a shot of it. We're trying to get a shot of it. Getting on the How clothes. Are you taking uh, Mickey? <laughs> Keep it there. Keep it there. Keep it there. <laughs> That's magic! <laughs> You can what? Are you certainly uh, go over? Um, but you can see here from this sample how hey, the hey, different hey, sizes. Hey. <laughs> 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 it's gonna do hey. It again. hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Sorry, you, you, you've shown that for to show the sizes of the A's, well, haven't you? Yeah, to show, show all the different sizes you can make with this collection. But you can also make um, in there, there's other shapes in there as well, like hearts and things like that. Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> stop it, stop mucking about everybody. Uh, Rachel says that magic trick would have worked well, but we could see your arm, lol. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but look, can we just see that one more time? That I'm, I, I mean that genuinely. This oh, one, got, the big one. The big one. I, oh God, it's really heavy. Oh, sorry. Do you want me to hold it? Uh, I yeah. just think it looks. I'm coming over. I think it looks great. 
Let's have a quick look here. Let's have a quick. Let's just hold this up. Wait. Let's just get just so we just get right in on this, so you can just see see that you can see the quality of this. Get in nice. It's a huge quilt, and that, you know, obviously you're making it with all of those letters, aren't you? Yeah. So really clever. Absolutely. Really Brilliant. So you've got all the alphabet letters there. Look at all the different colours you've got on there as well. It looks absolutely brilliant. Oh, God, there it's so it heavy. Is. Oh, dear. Dear, what the? <laughs> God, dear. Hey, Eddie. Now that's magic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, as we call this work. It's only here that you could get away with this as being work, isn't it? <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, beautiful quilt, Becky says Clarice. Um, no comments about the magic, though. All right. Uh, no, no comments about the magic. Uh, £40 or $60 um, if you want to go for this set. So all of the fabric, the <laughs> I've got some strange looks from out there, uh, the builder block, and also your Simon storage included in there as well. Uh, right, demo of the day. Demo of the day. I'm trying to find it now. I got it. Sounds like one of those, like, you know, in the Wheel of Fortune, it goes... Oh, yeah. I think you should talk about that. What's that? Don't worry. Uh, demo of the day. Two. Oi, this one here. So this is your little rainbow wristlets bag, which I've now pulled the zip off. Um, so I've undone the zip here, um, but you can see how that's going to look um, filled with all your goodies, um, big enough for a cantaloupe melon, I reckon. Absolutely right. Uh, great deal, says Michelle, on that. I may finally break this time. Listen, all of the deals are there for you on the website. Do make sure you check them out. Um, if you haven't yet shopped the website today, um, we've got so many great deals as far as um, National Craft Month is concerned. Um, up to 70% off. You'll see a page dedicated to um, National Craft Month. Loads of deals on there. Also worth bearing in mind on the website right now, we've got all of those um, lucky dips as well. They're worth a little bit of a sneaky peek. Um, if you can dip up to five times um, in your lucky dip bag without getting repeats. So um, a great way to be able to do things there. And those are the things that you can then add into your uh, bag, add into your basket. And uh, of course, potentially, if you haven't got a huge spend today, just treat yourself to a, a few bits and pieces. Or if you're looking for a few little uh, bits and pieces to tip you over into that free shipping threshold, that might be uh, the way to go. Uh, Clarice has just said, one of these days I want to learn to sew. This show is so inspiring, uh, but first I will need to make room uh, for a sewing machine. Well, listen, Clarice, we hope you do one day uh, take it up. I'm glad that you have enjoyed the show. And if you've enjoyed the show as well, uh, make sure you're back with us tomorrow because we have a day dedicated uh, to all things soft craft because it is International Quilting Day. And um, Becky, we've got a fantastic day lined up with not least of all with your craft along, of course. Yeah, with my craft along. I, I, I'll go and grab it. Well, I'm, I'm here. So yeah, we're going to have um, lots of fun, lots of um, stuff about builder blocks as well. Um, so this is going to be the craft along. We've got masterclass on um, multimedia applique dies. Um, so we've got lots of those different ones. So we've got flowers, we've got um, shapes, we've got um, lettering, um, all sorts of different ones, as well as um, some of the little um, panel um, dies that we had before, um, which are really great for making bags or sort of doing home decor. If you're going to be making, um, doing some scrapbooking, you want to cover some books, um, this would make a, a great idea for something to do on that. Um, so yeah, plenty to show you tomorrow. It's going to be a busy day, and I'm, I'm and it's Ben again. So it's like the dream team, isn't it, Ben? Well, I, well, you'd like to think so. We've also. We've also got Play Your Craft Right as well, which I'm really looking forward to. I have not done one of those shows in a very long time, not this year anyway. So that's going to be a lot of fun and it's going to get very competitive. So on my YouTube? Yeah, okay, yeah. right. I will Facebook, win. Facebook. I'm just going to say that. I just, I don't like losing oh. at all. I get quite grumpy. I mean, what? if I lose, I might just walk out and then you'll have to do the, the craft along on your own. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> that would be a disaster along. What? Uh, not really, no. I bet you could. Be. I bet you'd be fine. Yeah. I, well, as I said to you, I Are you going to craft along? Well, are we in the craft along? No. No. If we, because we've got a guest. I don't like to take it away no, from the guest that we've got. Um, but I, as I told you, I had so The only reason I stopped is because I think I had a bit of a, My machine just kept jamming all the time, and then that just like, put me off the whole yeah. thing. Sad to say. I can't understand. It, no, mm. it, it's a pain when it jams. And hopefully the machine won't jam tomorrow, because otherwise the craft along won't take two hours. It'll take three. 
Yeah. But we'll, we'll, I'm sure we'll be absolutely fine. But yeah, it's nice and it's a sim it's quite simple to do, and hopefully everyone will have all the bits and pieces at home in order to craft along with us. Yep, you can check the social pages right now to see what bits and pieces you will need. But thank you for um, a brilliant two shows today. We'll see thank you in you. the morning. Yep. I will see you in a couple of hours' time. Uh, we have got a totally Tiffany takeover uh, from six o'clock this evening. So in just a couple of hours' time, loads of great deals coming up. But do yourself a favour, and I mean this. Go to the website now and check out the deals that we've got because we do not have big quantities of stock at all. Um, the kind of quantities that I think that we might need for a show of this magnitude, we don't have. So if you um, want to check those out and be sure that you get what you want to get, go to the website now and check out your baskets because I think it's going to be a very, very busy uh, sellout heavy show later on tonight. But thanks for watching. Thank you to Becky. I'll see you uh, in a couple of hours time. Becky, will see you in the morning. Until then, bye for now.